What became of the horses after Michael Longley's The Horses? Imagining the fall of Patroclus and with the spent rage of Achilles, still haunted by those ashen features, I am walking past the faded stables that lie in deep green fields by sleeping castles, the main gates stripped of paint. The animals kept were promises and dreams, defeated in battles by hardships and losses, beaten down, their spirits depleted. Above the red brick pillars of the entrance to history, the leaves of a copper beech stir. Xanthos and Balios are awakened by their father, the west wind. Their distant hoofbeats disturb the ants, make the wild rose tremble. This softest rustling is enough to soothe a jaded heart. I like to think they gallop through eternity, that they can be summoned by those in need, their tears stellar ointment to the wounded. The King of One's Self It is only when a man tames his own demons that he becomes the king of himself, if not of the world. From the Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell To prize open the jaws of life, you must go gently, flowers in hair, tame the beast with honey, baby the lion as you would a pet, softly stroke between brows, Ruffle her neck and furry mane. Bring with you all the knowledge of the smoky blue mountain where forefathers mined, where dragons of the past were slain, so that chalk clouds could be seen on better days. Wear the peace of those battles in robes, pure white flowing down to vital pause. Let love be the guiding force in thought and action command your very self.